What's everybody doing? It's Paul from Magpie 24-7. Back again, not in the usual surroundings. Obviously, uh, the UK at the moment, I don't know where you're watching this from, the UK at the moment is currently being hit by some awful weather. Uh, several storms hit this week, one of them hitting today. I've tried view from the van. Unfortunately, today is not a day to take the van out, let me tell you that. Uh, to be honest, I was risking it being blown away to somewhere like, I don't know, Sunderland or Middlesbrough. I couldn't take that risk. I could not take that risk. So I've waited till later on and we popped out in the car. Everything all of a sudden, as quickly as the storm came along today, has gone and disappeared. But in doing that, it has actually damaged my... Um, office roof where I do some of the film for Mag filming for Magpie 24-7 as well uh, so that is going to need to be sorted out that's going to be uh, tomorrow's task either side of the football no doubt we'll have a look at that and see what we need to do uh, but yeah it's been one of them days every time I've attempted to do the preview uh, something catastrophic has occurred so as I'm out now later on in the evening, I thought I would take the opportunity to have a quick preview, a quick look forward to tomorrow's game against West Ham down at the Taxpayer Stadium, down at the Olympic Stadium in London. Uh, and a huge game. And Newcastle now went undefeated in five games. Three wins on the uh, bounce, looking more uh, defensively compact and sound and secure. We go down there. Uh, West Ham are doing fantastically in the league this season. Uh, Moyes has come in and he's done well down there. He's stabilised them and he shows the benefit of having a stabilised and committed uh, group of players all rolling in the same direction. Look at how they are doing this season. Uh, and they are fighting for top four Champions League, no doubt about it. It will be a difficult game uh, tomorrow. But look, opening... Uh, <laughs> opening gambits of the season with Brucey in charge we give these a great game and it wasn't until the legs of the players uh, fell away with, according to Callum Wilson that really West Ham got back into it and, and won the game so look uh, based upon their recent form, a little bit ropey. They've conceded a few goals against Leicester, against Leeds I seem to remember recently um, the not it's not mission impossible, it's mission very very difficult to get something out of the game you know, but I, I certainly think that we are more than capable if we can get uh, the sent maximums of the world into the game. Who knows? Maybe a Chris Wood to get his first uh, goal, a smash and grab, a set piece, uh, something that we've worked on on the training ground. We we are, we are capable of going down there and getting something out of the game and keeping the momentum going. Three points would be fantastic. Another win. Um, <laughs> would be would be probably un, unheard of and unfancied probably by many but we're you know we're, we're capable of it and if we do we can jump up a few positions now we've closed that gap up to the uh, pack that you know was was above us and, and well above us at one point recently so again it has to be a huge motivation for the players a huge incentive for the players going down there um, and it would be great if they can let's fingers crossed let's hope that they do do that um, we do have injuries, unfortunately, in particular to Kieran Trippier. He had a uh, operation yesterday that went well. He'll be back in due course, six, seven weeks, probably most likely. Um, and with some games getting pushed around and stuff, um, there's a chance he'll he'll still get some decent action this season. So that, I think that's all we can hope for. It's a bit like the Callum Wilson one. When he comes back, it's going to be a major, major, major bonus. Obviously, it's like I've just touched on, Wilson misses out. Trippier misses out. Javier Manquillo misses this game out, but he should be back uh, for the following game. So that is good news, but it does create an opportunity in the defence. It opens up an avenue for somebody to get back into the team. And it most likely is going to be Emil Kraft. And, you know, I thought he did okay when he came into the uh, into the game last time out against Villa. So it's up to him. It's up to him to seize the opportunity and to keep Mankiw out of the team. If he comes in and has a stormer, he keeps the place for the following weeks. Um, but if he has a mare, if he's not that good, <laughs> if he's a bit like uh, Swedish IKEA fl uh, fucking flat pack, then he'll be out of the team and Mankio will be back in because Mankio has done nothing wrong recently. He's looked really good in the minutes that he's got. Unfortunate, again, through injury, he's going to miss out. But you'd imagine Emil Kraft comes in on the right hand side of the defence. In the middle, we obviously got a huge call. Jamal Lascelles is back after illness and he did have a fantastic game last time, uh, time out. In a season where he's not been at his best. 
but you know Dan Byrne, fuck me, comes in man mountain, um, and he was a beast. He was like a man possessed last time out, uh, fighting, uh, scrapping, clawing. He had just to keep a clean sheet to keep Aston Villa at bay. Him and Cher played, you know, great. Cher again. It needs to be called out, you know, there's there's a lot of criticism that Cher's got earlier in the season, but I thought he was absolutely fantastic. All bandaged up. It looks Shearer S didn't hit some points in the game. Um but to me I think it will probably most likely be Cher and, and uh Burn. I think Lascelles will come back onto the bench with the old adage that those who have got the shirt until they have a drop in form or do something catastrophic or there's an injury or suspension will be in there. You know, for, 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 like for the ride, you've got to reward Dan Byrne for his performance last time out. And I think that Eddie Howe most certainly will do that. So I'm expecting to see Dan Byrne and uh, Fabian Shea. Unless he does some shenanigans and goes at three at the back and wing backs, I don't know. There's talk about a few shenanigans at right back and possibly Fraser dropping in there. Or Jacob Murphy even dropping in at the right back. But I still think Emil Kraft on that side. He's got uh, Paul Dummett. He's back. He's uh, fit and available. Matt Target is also back. Uh, so you'd imagine it would be Matt Target, Matt Target coming in uh, at left uh, back. And the rest of the team pretty much picks itself. The three in the middle are going to be the same three that there has been for the last few weeks. Bruno will have to do with uh, watching brief and a cameo again. You would imagine Sean Longstaff as well will, will be benched. Uh, he spoke about the, um, the good quality picks that he's got in there. But he also talked about the fact that he will pick players who are performing and doing the job for him. And all three of them have been doing fantastic. No so more, though, than Joe Linton, who's been an absolute fucking revelation since Kieran Clark got sent off and we found a, a whole new position for the lad. Fantastic. And uh, hopefully that may continue uh, down in London, down against West Ham tomorrow. Um, again, from the attacking areas, Miggy's going to have to be, remain patient. I think Fraser's done himself no harm um, at all. St. Maximin is one of the first names, names, isn't he, on the team sheet. Week in, week out. So he comes in. And Chris Wood, well, between him and Dwight Gale, it's uh, it's, it's, a, it's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? Uh, so again, Chris Wood, who's, you know, he's not scored. I've heard some people complaining that he's not scored. Um, but look, his general hold-up player um, has been fantastic. He's brought others in. He's dragged other defenders in, which has given space for St. Maximin. Um, you know, as a focal point for the attack to relieve pressure from the defence when balls are hit up to him. He's done really, really good. He's done everything else but score. And if it wasn't for the Trippier free kick stroke penalty fiasco of last time, he may well have scored if the penalty had been given rather than uh, the change of mind into the free kick. So, yeah, all that being said... Um, I know Eddie Howe's had a few issues getting down to London today. Again, due to the weather, they normally fly down and stuff, but they had the coach, a standby option to get the lads down to uh, London ready for uh, tomorrow's game. Fingers crossed that doesn't affect preparation too much, doesn't affect the results too much. The football is getting better. The results are getting better. The set plays, the tactics, the motivation of the players, everything is getting better, and it's all about uh, you know trying to maintain positive momentum, gaining points, and clawing and scrapping our way up the table and towards the, the Premier League safety mark just as soon as possible because brighter times, my friends, are ahead. And it's funny I'm saying that because it's absolutely pitch black at the moment. But brighter times are most definitely ahead. Great time to be a Newcastle supporter. The players, the fans, everybody is bouncing. Uh, the Brighton game already sold out. Already in the clamber for tickets at the moment. Away games... Uh, it's so, so difficult to get to at the moment because of the points and stuff. They're not dropping down enough. Um, home games, we're lucky. We're lucky that we've got season tickets. We get to go week in, week out. Yes, it's a couple hundred mile round trip for yours truly at the moment, but uh, worth every second. And I've said that to Kyle. You know, when you come up and the place is rocking and the flags are going, the atmosphere, like I say, the sing songs, the football's uh, good and getting better all the time. We're scoring goals, we're picking up points. You can have no complaints. Happy days. I hear again. And I'm feeling confident tomorrow. I think we will come away with something. Uh, whether that be a draw or three points. We we do have a funny uh, knack of getting a result down there. So maybe another 3-2. 
He is uh, everything crossed, everything thinking towards that. In the meantime, I hope you are all still okay and safe. I hope the weather conditions have calmed down wherever you are at the moment. Uh, hopefully, this roof's not too bad. I can get back to filming in the uh, in the office and stuff, as well as back in the view from the van as well, um, just as soon as possible. But, you know, when these things happen, you've got to find a way around stuff, haven't you? So, yes. In the meantime, take care. Keep it tuned. Keep it my pie 24-7. And I'll speak to you later.